We are now at Nebnes. This is Powell's uh, Model S. It's called Long Range uh, Raven. Yeah, hmm? yeah. Long Range Performance. Performance. Ludicrous Plus. Yep. Ludicrous. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm going to show you some stuff. Right. So, you see here, we have tapped into the canvas. Yes. You see, we have to... Uh, the trick is that you have to pop this thing open, the tray. Mm -hmm. There's... Uh, yeah, you just have... There's all, other videos also. You just press it open and you plug in this one. So, this is the cable you can buy from... Uh, those guys who made this, uh, yeah, this, the same guys who made the cable for uh, for MC Hammer, and then they also provide. If you buy the bundle, they also provide you with this OBD uh, um, adapter with Bluetooth, and this one works with, uh, I think, only Android. At least the app is on the Android anyway. And uh, okay, let me just put it here for now, I guess, uh, something like that. So you see that. Uh, we have oh, um, the car is now in uh, what is it in the uh, Ludicrous Plus? Thing yes, here? it should be. Yeah, it is. Ludicrous Plus, uh, um, and the hmm. battery is. Oh, can you put the car in drive now? Let's see if anything changes here. So you see, the battery is at the battery is at fifty one degrees Celsius, and the, the battery inlet is at fifty one point eight. So. You see, it's trying to heat up the battery. Yeah. So this is, you know, if you want to do a proper drag race, <coughs> this is what you have to do. Heat up the battery. It takes an hour to heat up yeah. this battery. Uh, and, uh, oh yeah, that was what I was looking for. Um, it says 530. Really? That sounds low. Yeah, it should be more. Um, so in ludicrous plus mode, you see when when the battery is ready, you will have this gauge, these gauges here, uh, which shows you uh, battery power, motor power, and whatever. Whoa, we have oh, interesting. Okay, a little side note: queuing at the Fortum chargers. Two or three cars in queue, and uh, only four chargers. And meanwhile, we have plenty of superchargers here available. Yeah, I'm not going to rub it in. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> back to topic. So, oops, oops, oops. A little mistake here. Sorry, guys. Um, I uh, forgot to keep this uh, phone. Okay, so I just, just keep... Uh, uh, Pablo, can you just drive north towards uh, Minnesund then? Yeah. So, see, we have this cool gauge here now showing battery temperature and all that. But it's not nearly as detailed as what you can get if you tap into the canvas like we do. So, uh, we will now drive north a little bit. So, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that uh, the, this value here is only 531. It should be, it should be over 550. Uh, so, is the stale charge too high, really? And is there such a thing? Mm. Mm, like 10, 20 kilometers yeah. an hour? <laughs> Uh, on the spin. Oh, okay. oh the, the problem is that we have winter tires. Yeah. Yeah, and we can't go too fast here. After all, it's Norway. So, um, 552.7. Wow. Kilowatt. So, you see the car. Okay, I can show you here. So, this one is the one you want to look at. Well, maybe you can hold it. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Okay. There, no, actually, I can hold it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, you see that the motor power. No, but the battery power peaked at 552. Um, so it actually went higher than the, the car uh, suggested or whatever. Yeah. Wow, that was, that was brutal, man. Yeah. And I don't know if you saw it, but the ESP was, oh. was fighting with the car all the time. Yeah. So the yellow light. Um, yeah. So. We should have summer tires when we do these tests, but... Okay, let's uh, go flip. Uh, there's uh, not the first exit here, but the next one. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I will show you where. Uh, let's go back. Um, so, you know, I want to do some other stuff. Uh, now, let's just, for fun, uh, go to driving. And then we put on range mode. 
Yeah. And then see what happens. So not this first one, but this? No, the next one. Yeah. So. Okay, now we'll try again uh, on the way back. Uh, slightly different stretch. You know, this is not an, uh, an acceleration. It's not yeah. an acceleration test. It's a, it's a power test. But you can just do it here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, ready. Go. Okay. Yeah, this is brutal, man. Oh, it's so different. Huh? 460 only. What the heck? Okay, so but that Gil, still... Gil was right. <laughs> it still felt so brutal. This is, this car is just so much faster than MC Hammer. Seriously, but I'm going to show you guys. Because you don't see this in the... In the OBD... Uh, but 460 only versus 500 and something. Well, can we... Uh, can we just, they're supposed to be, oh, over here, yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. you can pull over there. Yeah. So let's try again with the range mode. Now we, now we switch off range mode again. Uh, okay, switch off range mode and see if we get that, uh, well, you might not even have this to. Maybe I should just do it at once. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, I forgot okay. that. We, we, oh, you see, you see. Well, we had a little bit of traction problem here, yeah. but you see that now we suddenly have 490. I'm uh, trying to uh, lock it in there. Sorry, guys. It's a little bit, uh, this came a little bit unexpected, the whole thing, but uh, oops, 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 I'm going the other way. There, you see that we actually had higher peak now. It could indicate that the range mode uh, throttles the maximum power even though it felt really brutal, but yeah. So, um, you know, there's a reason why, if you look here, actually, if you read about this, oh, there. Uh, if you read about it, it doesn't say anything about power. It just says save energy or whatever uh, to HVAC, to the climate control. But Elon claims that using range mode for drag racing is almost like having it in low gear or you know in, in slow mode or whatever okay now we are uh, heading back to uh, well back to the city uh, towards Klofta and uh, we switch off uh, Ludicrous Plus which is that uh, it's basically the max battery power the the thing that heats up the battery uh, well range mode but that's my actually to have range mode off and you see wow this is huge so you see that the battery inlet is now 21 <laughs> degrees, oh no, 26, okay, just adjust a little bit. So it's now, um, now it wants to, to cool down the battery. Uh, so the reason why we drive at 90 kilometers per hour, because I've done this before with MC Hammer, and if you start from here, then by the time we reach Klufta, then it should be down to 35 uh, roughly. And then we should try again and see what kind of power up we get at those more normal temperatures. So I want to see, yeah, if we, I mean, uh, in theory, we should have uh, way lower uh, power output. So um, I guess you guys can just pay attention now to this. Yeah, I see it's already dropping to 48.6 and it's, it's going to drop quite fast. Uh, all right, we're now at Klofta. We'll try again. Uh, now you see that the battery has cooled down to 39 degrees Celsius. So that might make a difference now. Um, and I guess, well, what happens if we put it on Ludicrous Plus? Let's try. Oh, well, max battery power. And actually, not, we can just click and we will not use it now. We will, okay, we'll stay in Ludicrous. So yeah, yeah. now we will simulate a scenario where you know you don't uh, heat up the battery properly mm, maybe like uh, Top Gear did <laughs> but okay so uh, I guess when you're ready yeah yeah all right oh. so now I have to pay attention to this one I want to see now we can't see the numbers on the dash anymore so yes you can just go whenever you yeah. <laughs> I saw 540 at the peak. Oh, okay. Wow. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, 540, okay, let's... Um, okay, now we'll just try range mode on. See what happens then. Okay, let's just try it. Ready? Yes. Yep. Okay. Let's see how many... Yep. That was 520 peak, seems yep. like. Check here. Yeah, five... 
Oh no, this uh, I, I saw it was 520. Hard to tell really what range mode does. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Okay, but what if we. Uh, this was a little bit downhill, you know? Yeah. So it's maybe added a little bit. Okay, but if we. Uh, can we try again? Yeah. Let me see. Let's say without range mode. Yeah. Okay, the battery is still at 39 degrees. Okay, so you can just, whenever you're ready, just quickly. We don't have to do it on st from standstill even. You can just have a little rolling. Yeah. yeah. Like this. Uh -huh. uh, ready. Uh -huh. About 540. Yeah. That was without range mode. Yeah. Okay, let's try range mode on again. Okay. Bye bye, good max tires. <laughs> Five thirty-ish, close enough. Well, actually, based on this, I I can't really conclude that range mode nerfs. I mean, that it really reduces it. I'm not sure. You know, there's. It's not like a like a big difference. Hmm. It's not night and day. Oh, it is. No, yeah, yeah, it isn't. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure if Elon is telling the truth there. Yeah, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> but or, or it could be that we don't see that much different now because um, the battery is not warm enough. Yeah. But if you heat it up to 50 degrees Celsius, then you unlock the power. Yeah. Um, but 540 now peak, and then it was 550. So you know, fortunately, um, it's not that much of a difference. Yeah. But we are missing out that. 10 kilowatt, about 13 horsepower. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure really. Uh, yeah. uh, but anyway, I think, you know, this is a reference point, by the way. Oh, by the way, uh, no, very important. State of charge is lower now. You guys see it. It's it's 80%, but Pavel, you did test it. Yes, 79% uh, state of charge. You tested it this summer. Yeah. And I got 553 kilowatts, I think it was. Yeah, so even at around 80%, uh, you should be able to get 550 something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but anyway, this is also a reference point for after the update. Yeah. Because you're supposed to get 50 more horsepower, so it means yeah. 800 horsepower. Yeah, maybe we will uh, reach 800, wow. That will be nice. <laughs> wow, okay. But um, anyway, I think that's it for now. Uh, I'm not sure what to conclude from this. Um, just that this car is brutal. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.